Hello, and welcome back to my Vampire Survivor series, where I try to unlock all of the things. Today, we're going to be playing a character I haven't played yet. I was thinking between Cavallo and Ambro Joe. I don't really know what's up with Ambro Joe. They get plus 11 projectiles at the start, so I assume that it's like a pretty strong weapon, but no clue. But, um, you know what? I'll just try it out. I have played Cavallo before, technically. Um, back previously when I played this game. So, we'll try a new character. Not gonna go inverse mode. We're gonna go Dairy Plant today. Because, well, a few reasons. Which I will get into shortly. But first, I gotta figure out... Which of these do I want? I thought there was one on here that increased projectile amount. Oh, here. Yeah, so you don't get as much bonus because I think normally Ambro Joe's weapon is actually listed on here and the character's starting weapon is listed as like the plus three, but because it is the starting weapon, then you don't get as much bonus. Anyways, I was going to pick this because we get extra projectiles. And so kind of like doubling all of your extra projectiles seems pretty nice. Mm, but I don't know. I, I don't really want to pick something that doesn't immediately affect our character. As usual, picking the Arcana is what takes up a majority of the video. Meh. Sure, we'll just we'll just take this. So now we have plus fourteen projectiles. Oh, okay. Just throwing out a ton of random things on. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> so I wanted to go guns, birds, cat, and then I don't know what from there. Maybe Bible. And then lightning ring. <clears throat> sure. We'll just go get Bible. God, look at how many projectiles the gun is shooting out. It's never ending. Alright, so. There we go. Got the guns. Yes, yeah, so my main reason for thinking about the, um. Bible. Is because. Uh, if I'm going to get a bunch of projectiles, then it would be nice to have something that synergizes with a lot of projectiles, and Bible is definitely one of them, because um, obviously you, you know, spin a bunch of books around you, the Unholy Vespers and all that. I don't know. Plus, I kind of thought that Spellbinder would be nice to get with the, uh, the cats and the birds. I was like, meh. Why not? La Raba. Okay. I don't really know what this weapon's all about. I won't lie to you. So what do we have? We have wings, candle labrador, attract orb, and armor. Okay. I don't really care about any of those for my weapon evolutions. So... <clears throat> Excuse me, I did just eat only a short minute ago. I want to say about an hour ago. So... As usual, I've got crap in my throat. <laughs> but, um... Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, so we don't really have any items on the map that we care about too much, but because we've got birds and Laraba, that means we should have two open slots for items. So maybe, like, Tome could be good. Right? Because uh, decreased cooldown is always nice, and then maybe I don't know. I mean, bracer could be interesting uh, with the Bible and with the lasers and with the um, cats. Projectile speed could be pretty interesting. Obviously, it won't be as good with like lightning ring or with the um, 
whatever this is, the Laraba. But, meh. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyways, this weapon is very interesting. <clears throat> God dang. Um, and now that I think about it, I think that I actually have played this character before. Because this weapon seems very familiar to me. Just like the random projectiles being thrown on the screen. All that. Yeah. Anyways. Um... So right now we've got an unlock. I don't remember if I talked about this too much, but we have a couple unlocks that we're going for here. So minute 31, we'll unlock an Arcana. Level 80, we'll unlock um, like a skip or a banish or something. I think it's a, a banish. Uh, level 80 with this character. And then there's also the unlock for killing 3,000 milk elementals, which are what you see on your screen right now. And so here, we actually have an interesting decision. We could level up a weapon, we could take the cat, or we could take the bracer. Now the problem with taking the cat is that we'd have to evolve the birds before we can... Or uh, evolve the guns before getting the other bird. Mm. Mm. Sure, we'll just take the cat, whatever. Max out our weapons. So we have to evolve the guns... And we do have the Tiragasu, so it's not as big of a deal. But yeah, you can see the milk elementals here. These uh, these dudes. I think we've only killed like five of them or something silly. Not five. I don't know why I said five. We've only killed like 600 of them or something. So uh, I don't know if they're like pretty rare to spawn or what, but... We're probably going to have to do quite a few runs in this um, stage in order to unlock that, but that's okay. I don't mind the dairy plant. I think later on it gets pretty difficult, but, you know, early on it's not too bad. You get a decent amount of XP. I like it. I'll go ahead and sit on this chest for a while. Just because, you know, I want to be able to have the highest odds of evolving the guns early. Now, I do feel slightly tempted, I will say, to um, go pick up the Attract Orb. So we can get all these gems that are just sitting around everywhere. Because there's a lot of gems that we can't really collect. Oh god, okay, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I actually really don't like the stopwatch, um, assuming that your build is actually okay. Because it feels like it makes it so much harder to kill enemies, because they're not coming at you, so you have to come, like, run at them. Right, instead of meeting halfway, you have to go the full distance. Which feels like it can slow down your um, XP gain a decent amount. But, you know, it's definitely useful in certain situations, right? Like, if you're struggling, it's pretty good. Yeah, so, next Arcana we get, we're probably going to get the, um, the one that gives the counterpart to the different weapons. It's so the guns and the cat and then the birds. Because, uh... We are going for those weapons, so, you know, and plus, you know, like I said, because we're getting the extra plus three projectiles, it's kind of more like we're getting, like, plus six projectiles on some of those weapons. Um, and we actually are getting, like, plus six projectiles on our starting weapon, because we have the plus three from the initial arcana, the beginning, which I think maybe I've been underestimating or underrating that on the characters that can actually use it. Like, not Papia, for example. Because I, I don't think Papia gets affected by number of projectiles. I guess I, I could be wrong, I suppose. But, but um, for the characters that can actually use it, it definitely can help early on. Especially, I imagine, if you're on, like, a like an inverse stage, for example. I'm sure that it can be 
very helpful. But, yeah, anyways. We're just chilling, you know, it's, I mean, it's only six minutes in and we're already pretty strong. Level 29. That's actually really solid. Obviously, we're not really making progress toward any of the uh, stage items, but I think that's okay. I mean, we don't really need any of them anyways. I think the only one that would be really nice to get is the Candle Operador. It's really the only one that I care about getting at all. Even then, Candle Operador won't do a ton. Well, no, I take that back. It probably will help quite a bit because... I assume it'll make our, like, Laraba furniture um, projectiles larger, and um, it'll increase the lightning ring once we end up getting that, and it'll increase the bullets on the counterpart for the guns after we evolve it to the laser beams. And then it should also probably impact um, the cats, right? Both their size and then, like, the um, whenever they're fighting that size as well, the size of that area, so. Yeah, it's probably useful. Also, n Jesus, now we have three chests sitting here. I almost feel like I should just be picking those up, because they're kind of just sitting there, no? But, no, I will be patient. Alright. So what are we looking for? We're looking for the stone mask... We're looking for duplicator, and we're looking for tome, right? Don't pick up the stopwatch. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've mentioned it previously, but I've definitely, like, you know, come to realize the power of just, like, taking items that are just good, even if they don't necessarily evolve weapons. Like, the tome is just so good, right? I mean, I've said that before, but it's... I feel like it's worth reiterating just how solid it is. You know, it's it's almost a 100% damage increase, depending on the weapon, right? Because it almost halves your cooldown. So, really good, I like it a lot. There's the duplicator. More projectiles, you can never have enough. I love projectiles. We got this little reaper following us. It's a rat. Uh, I don't believe that there is an attract orb anywhere for us. There's the laser beams. On the ground. Oh no, there are. There are some to the south. So I'll go ahead and pick those up just to pick up all these gems. Because there's like a bajillion gems on the ground. Excuse me, sorry about that. Alright, probably uh, blew out your speakers. For that, I must apologize. <laughs> um, you know, I would edit it out, but uh, I don't edit my videos, so... I'm just gonna have to live with that. And we looks like we have four chests up there, which is kind of crazy. Jeez, but look how many lasers we have right now, actually. Because we don't even have the Arcana for plus three revivals. So... That's pretty nutty. I like that. I guess if we do take that Arcana, we'll just have three more lasers, right? Even better. There we go. Alright, so we got the birds. We want to evolve the birds as quickly as possible. My god. <laughs> My god, look how many spellbinding or uh, books we got. In the Bible. Yeah, and we've got we've got a few lasers, as you can see. It's it's actually crazy. I mean, once we get it to like a, a hundred percent output, so basically like it doesn't go on cooldown. And we will be hard chilling. And I'll just go ahead and start picking up chests. I might as well. I mean, we've got a few weapons that are maxed out, right? I mean, how many more do we need? We only need two more? No, three more chests, technically. 
because we, we need to union the birds, evolve the cats, and then evolve the lightning ring once we actually are able to get that, but I mean, it's so far away. Barely matters. Yeah, I mean, this run is... This run is pretty over. <laughs> like, I know it's only ten and a half minutes in, but this run is done, so... I'm not very concerned about our uh, odds of winning this. So in the meantime, I guess I'll just talk about something unrelated to the game. Um, I've talked about it before. Don't know how many people are interested. Probably not many, but uh, I am kind of into Magic the Gathering, and then I've also recently gotten into the Digimon trading card game, which is a pretty new game in general. I mean, it only came out like, I want to say, two and a half years ago. And um, I ordered quite a few cards recently on TCG Player for a commander deck in Magic the Gathering. And then I also ordered some cards on TCG Player just for my collection for Digimon because I like collecting cards. I like collecting things, really. But it's, um, you know, it, it, it can be kind of difficult to... Uh, collect. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm skipping that. Um, it's hard to collect things because they usually cost a lot of money, so I haven't, but Digimon is like fairly easy because a lot of the cards are pretty cheap. Uh, I'm not going to get too into it because, you know, if people aren't interested to hear it, then no reason to talk about it too much. But, um, yeah, so, I, basically my main collection is just, like, trying to acquire a copy of one of every card. By the way, I realize now that I was, like, talking way too into the microphone, so I was probably, like, you know, blowing up the mic a million times over, so my apologies for that. But, um, yeah, Digimon cards kind of cheap. Try to get one of every kind. I bought some to try and get started on that. Uh, it's going to be a long journey, obviously, but I have accepted that, come to terms with that, and I'm okay with that. Um, just a little short update while, you know, we're kind of just playing the game. Nothing's really going on. I guess I can talk about the fact that we didn't really get an Arcana there. <laughs> um, that is the main problem with unlocking more arcanas, obviously, is that you, you know, end up not getting the ones that you want, necessarily. Um, now, what I will mention is that I actually don't know if the rerolls on weapons are the same as the rerolls in arcana, and it looks like they are, because we don't have any more rerolls, so that is definitely an, an incentive to unlock more rerolls that way you can get the arcanas that you need because it's definitely like a lot easier to get the weapons and items that you want because a you can seal them i guess you can probably seal arcana as well now that i think about it but um you can seal weapons and items and then you can also banish weapons and items um and so you know, it's definitely a lot easier on that end, so I would say getting more rerolls to use on the Arcanas is probably ideal, probably where you want to be. So I guess that could be a goal for uh, some of our future runs, is actually making progress toward unlocking more skips. Uh, rerolls, excuse me. Because getting the right Arcana can be pretty important, right? I mean, obviously, you know, the fact that we didn't get an Arcana there almost halved our DPS because, you know, the Arcana that I wanted was the thing that doubles, you know, half of our weapons, right? It gives us the extra birds, it gives us the extra guns, it gives us the extra cats, so definitely would have been nice to get, but, um, what are we missing right now? We're missing Lightning Ring and we're missing Tome. I bet Tome is the reason why our lasers are not on, so I'm going to end up looking for that. I'm 
then, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and make my way toward the Candelabrador, because that's really the last item that we care about, like, at all. Everything else. I mean, we could take, like, the ring, I guess. Um, by the way, so I didn't really do any research, but I am making the observation currently that in our previous run, we were going down for the Gallo Tower. I think that the item was in the opposite direction because I'm pretty sure that the Silver Ring was downwards in that run, whereas now the Silver Ring is upwards when we're not in verse mode. So, I mean, that would make sense that the tower was actually reversed, which would mean that we were supposed to be going up the tower to unlock the secret character and not down the tower. Make sense? Logical? Not logical? I mean, I'm sure if you know anything about the game, you can prove me right or wrong, but... Yeah, that's just my initial guess. Either way, next time we play it, we're not going to be playing on inverse mode, so... It'd be a lot easier for us. Just go down and uh, get the secret character down at the bottom. Which actually does make me curious. I don't know if secret characters have unlocks attached to them. Like if you get new unlocks whenever you unlock a secret character. Don't know if that made sense, but hopefully I got the idea across well enough. Are. Oh, don't pick that up. Actually, we need the tome. <laughs> okay, that was close. I wish we had an attract orb right near us, because we could use that to pick up all of the gems we had to leave behind. But, eh, it shouldn't be too bad. Although, there's not really a lot of enemies spawning, so we're not getting a ton of experience. We're also, like, already a pretty high level, so it's going to be a lot harder to get experience. And I'm pretty sure our build is maxed out, so... Yeah, if we don't get the tome here soon, it might end up being a little rough. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Just don't pick up that chest yet. So we want lightning ring, and we want tome. Okay, I mean, there's the lightning ring. Now we need the tome. I'm debating whether or not I, I want to pick up this chest right here, because if we pick up the chest, we can get some levels for the lightning ring, but then we won't have the chest to evolve the lightning ring. Plus, like, it's not really that important to level it up, considering we still need to get the tome. Right, like, the lightning ring's the only thing we can level up right now, so... I'll go ahead and wait. No attract order. Just gotta get all the XP ourselves. Well, how are y'all doing? How are you enjoying the series? I'm curious. I mean, the viewership numbers are not exactly popping, but there are people that watch, so... Just wondering. Is it an interesting series? Do you kind of like that I'm just trying to unlock everything? Do you want to see more after I unlock everything? I don't, I don't really have plans <laughs> to continue playing. Um, assuming there's no, like, more content, right? Like, if they release a, another DLC, I'll probably buy the DLC and then, you know, unlock everything in there, but, um, yeah, just wondering. I don't really get any comments on many of my videos, so hard for me to gauge, like, how many people are actually watching and not just, like, clicking on it and moving immediately, how people feel. Like, I get, I get, like, one like on some of my videos, which, you know, is, is nice. It's like, okay, 
there's probably somebody out there that enjoyed it, which is, is not good, but, you know, I don't know. Just some food for thought. I guess, like, once this game, once I do finish this series, I still don't really know what series I would replace it with. Um, I mean, there are definitely some ideas and some things that could work, but not 100% certain what I'm going to do with that. I guess in other news, uh, I do have some thoughts about making content on my, like, quote-unquote main channel. Main channel. Oh my god, I died. Okay. Um. <laughs> the quote-unquote main channel being the channel that I have not uploaded any videos to. Um. I think it would be interesting to upload videos there that aren't, like, strictly related to video games. Right? So, like, um, you know, for example, Magic the Gathering or the Digimon card game. I think that's something that I could definitely consider, uh, and I definitely have considered it, but I don't know, it's hard. I mean, I've also thought about making videos in there about, like, anime and manga or whatever, but, you know, obviously I'm extremely lazy when it comes to editing videos, so I don't really know how well that would work. But, um, man, we haven't seen the tome yet, which is mighty suspicious. We've almost maxed out the lightning ring. And we're at minute 20. So, we're getting pretty late into the run. It would be... You know, it would be kind of nice to... Get our tome. <laughs> Give us a little bit more power. Because... The tome isn't necessarily, like craziest upgrade, um, especially given some of our weapons, like, it's not super great with the Spellbinder evolution, because it's always on anyways, but still, it'd be good for our lasers, good for the eyes, probably good for, like, the, the chocolate eggs. That's why I assume they're supposed to be, I don't know, but, like, La Raba, the starting weapon on character we've got. They look like chocolate eggs to me. I'd also love another Arcana. <laughs> like, I did pass up the one Arcana, that doesn't mean that I'm ready to never take one ever again, I mean... Come on, man. I'd love the counterparts. Also, like, extra revives, that would be kinda hot. <laughs> okay, there we go, the Tome. Oh, and it's maxed out, okay. <laughs> oh, and there's the Arcana, alright, well... Well, now... We've suddenly gotten much stronger. Okay, there we go. Boom. Sweet. Okay. So now the screen is going to be full of things that we cannot possibly comprehend. And I am okay with that. Because as long as we don't die, then I'm happy. So we do need to live for 31 minutes. And I have noticed that there haven't really been a lot of milk elementals that spawn. I think that is something that annoys me about this stage, is that there's an unlock to kill 3,000 milk elementals, but just not a lot of them spawn, right? So it's like, well, what am I supposed to do then? Yeah. It does feel a little bit awkward, but meh. Whatever, it's fine. Oh my god, we died. Okay. Well, now we only have, like, one revive left. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to see enemies, I'm not gonna lie, so... <laughs> it's like, you know, as much as I would like to avoid getting hit, I, I can't really see the enemies that are coming at me. So... Yeah, you know, we might lose this run. <laughs> Which, if we do, that would be a little bit sad, but... It is what it is. We just have to hope. Um, I guess in that case it would make sense to uh, go for the armor 
since the armor is the highest chance of preventing us from like dying instantly. Also, I will say, it looks like area does actually impact the width of the lasers. So that's kind of cool. I don't know how much extra damage it's giving, but it is cool. That there does at least seem to be some effect on that. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, it's always interesting to see like which weapons are affected by which stats in what way. I think that they give a pretty good idea just in like the actual collection. But I think the wiki has a much more comprehensive guide on that, on each of the weapons, different pages. Yeah, like the eyes are a lot bigger as well. I, I don't really... I don't know. I don't think that the eyes are that good. Maybe I'm just bad, but it almost feels like the cats are better than the eyes. The eyes don't have like the massive AoE that like kills a bunch of enemies, right? I don't know. It usually feels like I get weaker when I evolve the cats into the eyes. But maybe I'm wrong. I guess we can always see in the end damage chart like, did the eyes do more damage or did the, the new cats do more damage? Obviously, the numbers would be a little bit skewed, because the eyes, I've had them for longer, so, like, in theory, their DPS could be higher or lower, depending on how many enemies were on the screen, and, like, how strong the rest of our build was. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. Alright, well, we just leveled up, like, 50 times, because we got an attract orb, so... That's always the perfect thing to get right before you pick up a stage item. I mean, we are a crazy high level right now, like level 113. Imagine if we were playing one of those characters that got a 1% stat for, uh, for their level. We'd be going crazy. But I mean, also, you know, plus 3 projectiles is pretty good as well. A couple of bits, so. Um, Alright, where's the, the armor? Is Oh, right over here. I probably shouldn't have picked up that chest, but whatever. Come on. Give me the armor, I'm trying not to die instantly. Here it is. Alright. Cool. So now, you know, ideally, each of our levels should give us the armor upgrade. Which will hopefully be enough to stop us from dying in the later stages instantly to bosses. Now, we did get three Arcana chest drops, though we only have two. So I imagine they're not going to drop fourth one for us. If they did, I would probably pick up the extra revives, if possible. Um, just because obviously that would, you know, give us a little bit more, like, durability, I guess. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. Just got to make sure we don't walk into an enemy that we can't see because of all the things on our screen. Oh, and here's an attract orb. That's actually... Oh, I got trolled. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw the attract orb item. Like the arrow indicator, and I thought that was an actual pickup. So, um... You know, that happens. Okay, there we go. Got the armor maxed out, and you know what? I think I'm just gonna stand here. Just stand here and revel in the chaos for the last three, I guess four minutes, because we need to go to minute 31. Uh, yeah, you know. Hope y'all are enjoying the series. <laughs> um, like I said, I am probably gonna try to get a few more skits in the next uh, few videos. Since, I mean, we're going to have to get them eventually, so I'd rather get them early on. That way we can actually make use of the, uh, the skips for the sake of the Arcanas. But yeah, I'm just going to stand here and hope we don't die. I think we have a pretty good shot. A lot of the time it's felt like 
we've taken more damage just from like walking into enemies than they have of like, walking into us. I mean, as you can see, enemies can't even get close to us, right? Like, we just have so much damage. I don't even know what's going on with the furniture. The furniture is just like bouncing around. Very strange weapon. Kind of funny though. Yeah, I uh, I am recording this episode on the day that it's meant to be uploaded as well. Same as yesterday. I was going to record it last night. But I was just kind of tired. So I decided not to. I am going to record another one today. Almost certainly. So I can upload it tomorrow. Even though tomorrow I don't have work. So I could technically just do it tomorrow as well. But you know, I'd like to actually take the day off tomorrow if possible. You know, only have to record like one Vampire Survivors episode. Not have to stream. Not really have to work. Right. Just like sit at home, do nothing. I think that'll be nice. But uh, I did see one enemy almost get close to us. It looks like, but yeah, they're uh, they're having a, a tough time. Now imagine if this was inverse mode. We would have been dead like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> it's interesting that it's called inverse mode. Well, I mean, it does invert the map, but it's interesting that it also like makes enemies way stronger. I don't know. I get that, but it would be nice to have it a mode that like made enemies stronger without messing with the map. I guess. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's not a huge deal. Plus, I'm not really somebody that cares about playing inverse mode anyway, so I guess I should be the one to decide that. Enemies are getting close to us, which is slightly worrying, but I mean, we have one more revive of max health. There's 20 seconds, so I think we'll be okay. And look at how many of the cat battles are happening to our right. Maybe we should move over there. That's what's up. I wonder if that's because they're bouncing around more. I guess that's something I didn't even think about, is like, um, the cats and then the rune tracer. Uh, the Rune for Evolution specifically, they kind of have a similar pattern where you might want to be in areas that are more condensed. That way they're more likely to bounce off walls. Um, but the no future, that's obviously important because of the explosions. But the cats, that can be important because it means that there's a higher likelihood that they um, like hit into each other if they're in a smaller space. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Anyways... We got 30 seconds left until 31 minutes. I will uh, do nothing. Just run around. I guess we could wait for ele milk elementals to spawn, but I don't really feel like doing that, so. I'll just stick. I'll just exit the run. I guess that is a way to maybe grind, is that you just like get max build and then leave the computer running in endless mode. I mean, eventually milk, milk, uh, why don't I keep messing this up? Milk elementals will spawn, right? Assuming that you're strong enough to keep a living. Yeah. All right, there you go. Minute 31 and then level 80. Oh, okay, so level 80 with these guys is what unlocks the rerolls. I was wrong about that. All right, cool. So we are getting more rerolls. So uh, I'll probably play more new characters in the next episodes then to get more of those rerolls. And I might play on some of the other stages as well to uh, get some skips. But I do want to unlock the character by killing a bunch of milk elementals, so I'll have to see about that. Anyways, um, as you can see, our highest DPS was the cats, and one of our lower DPSs was the eyes. So yeah, I would say it's pretty reasonable to say that... Um, the cats have more damage than the eyes, which isn't too surprising, honestly. But it is slightly disappointing. But, uh, geez, Laraba actually did crazy damage, I will say. Especially when you consider the fact that, you know, early on it's doing less damage per second, so it kind of weighs it down. But, yeah, really nice damage, most overall throughout the entire run. And then obviously the lasers, they did they did work. 
and Bible did nothing, birds did nothing by themselves. Yeah, I mean, you know, like part of this, the reason why their damage numbers are so low is because, you know, that was before there are a lot of really strong enemies and before they're really leveled up, but also, you know, just the evolved weapons do so much more. That's why it's really important to get them done early, right? Anyways, I've talked for long enough. It's 40 minutes. I can get another reroll. I can't get another seal because I bought a reroll, so I will not buy anything else. And I will end this video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day, good night, whenever, wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you next time. I'm out of here. Peace.